present a new wineskin. Mark 2 verse 22 And no one puts new wine into old wineskins, or else the new wine bursts the wineskins. The wine is spilled and the wineskins are ruined. But new wine must be put into new wineskins. Jesus is giving us a very important truth of how God works. The context, of course, is the passing away of the old covenant and the coming in of the new. But in this process of explaining this to us uh, and uh, responding to a question concerning fasting, Jesus bring, brings this truth out. He says, you know, new wine is, must be put into new wine skin. So when we want to receive a new work of God, when we want to receive something new and fresh that God is making available to us or has made available to us, we must present a new wineskin. We cannot expect God to put new wine into old wineskins. Old wineskin represents the container. It represents ourselves as vessels, containers of the work of God, of the release of His Spirit into our lives. When we want a fresh anointing, a fresh work of God, a fresh move of the Spirit, we must present ourselves as a new wineskin. That means there are things I need to change, there are things I need to have restructured, reformed, reset, uh, uh, reworked in my life, in my thinking, my believing, my perspective, my understanding, uh, my pursuit, the way I'm pursuing God, the way I'm seeking Him. So these things need to be reworked so that I can be a new wineskin into which God can pour new wine. So as we talk about the realms of the prophetic, for many of us, this may be something totally new. So like I never experienced the Holy Spirit as the spirit of prophecy. Well, He is the spirit of prophecy. He is the spirit of revelation. He has words of knowledge, words of wisdom, discerning of spirit. These are revelatory gifts the Holy Spirit brings. But maybe you've never experienced it. And this is new for you. Well, to receive new wine and to present ourselves as a new wine skin. Meaning you're willing to be restructured, reset, reformed, reshaped renewed in your thinking, your perspective, your understanding. And as that happens, God begins to release new wine into your life and you begin to experience these realms that we've been talking about. So I want to encourage you that you let God help you present yourself as a new wine skin so that you can receive the new wine that's waiting for you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you have new wine, a fresh anointing of your Holy Spirit a fresh work, a new wave of your Spirit. Help us to present ourselves as new wineskins to receive new wine. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.